<laughs> so we start the new cricketing year with the West Indies Test team heading off to Australia for a two-test series with seven members of the 15-man squad being debutants. So almost half of the squad will be getting their baptism into test cricket against the ruthless Australians in Australia. It not get much tougher than that. A couple of things though. It's not if, but how badly the West Indies will lose. I put it to you that it won't make much of a difference because the talent level in the region is so poor. So it no matter if we send these seven debutants or we send the next best seven we have. In fact, there is a possibility that the unknown players might surprise the Australians before they devise a strategy to play against them. Next thing, the West Indies selectors actually reach out to the likes of Jason Holder, Shimron Hetmar, Kyle Mears, Brandon King, and even Shea Hope. But they all declined, obviously, because franchise cricket beckons. <laughs> the long and the short of it is, though, we call a dark <laughs> in a cricket. <laughs> <laughs> West Indies call a dark. <laughs> what the lights, sir? What the lights? Are?